Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Gargoyles Quest 2 for the NES, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, time to take on the final palace of the game. Ooh, blood, I like that. Now this is where Magic Claw comes in handy. Well, not yet. Um, maybe I'm better off using the tornado for now. Save the claw for later. What the hell? Hungry? Okay, good. I can land on the skull. Okay, this is where the magic claw comes in handy. You shoot it right at the spikes. Then again, if you saw Gargoyle's quest on the Game Boy, you would already know that. There we go. I don't know if these spikes are instant kill, but I'd rather not find out. Maybe they're not instant kill, it doesn't seem like it. But I'd rather not play stupid. I'm just, just gonna try not to get hit by them at all. That would seem like the proper thing to do, don't you think? I had a feeling that was an enemy. Okay, I could, could've went down there for our hearts, but I'm already at full health. This magic claw, despite being used to repel spikes, is actually a powerful weapon on its own. It takes care of these guys in two hits. I think the uh, Buster only does it in like four hits or something. Okay, good. I was running low on wing power. Okay, this looks like some kind of platform. There's a lantern enemy over there and watch what happens if you kill it. Like, the light dissipates for a few seconds. What you want to do is make sure it stays alive. But there's going to come a time when you actually have to hurt it, unfortunately. Luckily, you can still see where you put the magic claw. Uh-oh. I think this would be a good time to use this. I just wish this thing would leave me alone so I wouldn't kill it. God, you can't even tell what attack you're using. That's how dark it gets. But oh well. We gotta make do. Try to lure it away from you if you can. Basically, as far as I'm concerned, wait till you're going up and then kill it. Because at least you can still see where the magic claw went. But it only lasts for a short time. So don't waste too much of it. Okay, this looks like the end right here. There we go. Alright! Welcome, Firebrand! I must destroy you before you become the true Red Blaze. Alright, now I gotta take on Goza. This guy's pretty easy, you just gotta aim for that jewel on his head. You just gotta watch out because he can actually destroy these bricks. And that finger is pretty powerful. Oh, I already used my Essence of the Soul Stream. It's gonna be pretty tough to find some solid ground. Once all those blocks are gone. And he is pretty much trying to destroy them on purpose. Oh, come on! He fires that laser too fast. I mean, it is an easy boss, I'm not gonna lie. It gets harder once all the bricks are gone. Because then you got less spots to land. Oh, there goes a good one. I 
There we go. Got him. Whew, that was close. Although you defeated me, you will not be able to defeat King Breger unless you become the true Red Blaze. Also, King Breger should have completely revived by now. Hehehe. <laughs> you jackass. A voice can be heard from somewhere. I admire you coming this far, Firebrand. I'm Demo Gorgon. The Black Light represents King Breger's tremendous destructive power. His mysterious army is controlled by his psychic power. Now it's time for you to prove that you are the true Red Blaze and defeat King Breger. I'll give you my power. Firebrand obtained the Mammoth's Hoof. Thanks. Firebrand obtained the Burial's, burial's Wings. Firebrand obtained the Atlas Armor. All the power Firebrand has built up in Firebrand's body. Firebrand obtained the Magic Dark Fire. Oh, that's the most powerful weapon in the game, too. I'm guessing I gotta go back or something? Yep, there's another palace. Oh, Dark Fire looks really nasty. Really powerful. Okay. Ow. Okay, good. I was still flashing at that time. Of course, I still have to switch the Magic Bus to destroy these blocks. Uh oh. There we go. Problem solved. I don't think I need to kill this thing. I'm gonna let it go. I'll let you live. Because I'm merciful. Luckily, I can fly infinitely now. Okay, gotta watch out for these arrows, though. Ow. Might as well go up while I'm still invincible. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that vial. All I care about is my survival. Oh, shit! I could've swore that never hit me. But apparently it did. Wait, what's this? Oh. This thing likes to shoot you pretty much instantaneously. Just as soon as you get on its line of fire. Shit! Shit! How the hell do you get through this? I gotta come up with something. Maybe tornado. Yeah, I'll have to fly over it. Whoa, I'm not gonna fly over this thing. Okay, I'm gonna wait, because he likes to fire at intervals. Shit! I was going for the heart, too. Now I gotta do this all over again! There's no checkpoints in the entire level. Wow, thanks, game. So I have to go through this entire crap. Oh well, it was a good run while I was at it. At least I get another bit of soul stream. That's always helpful. Okay, let's try this again. I hope to get through it this time. Alright, Magic Claw. Come on! God, everything is just so hard to dodge in this game. It's like they only fire the arrows when you're right there in their line of fire. It's like they wait for you. Okay, dodge that one. Ooh, dodge that one too. 
Okay, now I'm at the part where I died. These things really like to piss you off. Look at this, they fire so fast, too. Basically, you're better off just doing it this way. Like, just hang on over there, and as soon as they fire, jump up and shoot. There, got that heart back. Okay, how much more do I have to do? Hopefully not much. There we go, I'll ignore you. But I can't ignore you. You're in my way. And just in case. Alright, let's see what I gotta do this time. There. Ooh! Almost missed it entirely. Why do these bugs look like Bugsy from the Kirby series? Didn't you just notice that? There. That's basically how you dispatch these schmoes. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the final boss room. Eh, I think I'll save it for the next video. Stay tuned for that.